Hello everyone, in this video I'll be doing a review of the Elgato Cam Link 4K. This is a way to use your DSLR or mirrorless camera on your computer. I'm using it right now with my Sony ZV-E10, which is a version of the A6400 or A6000 line of the Sony cameras. This does work very well as it just takes a simple plug-in. So you need a micro HDMI cord to a USB cord plug it into the cam link itself and then it just works it's flawless like you can with this camera plug it in using USB-C you are limited to only the 10 or the 720p but with this it works pretty well and there is a very mild crop to it on my camera you may not have that with your camera but out of the box it comes with this here it's just a simple HDMI to um, USB I just plug it straight into my laptop I'm using a rogue zephyrus m16 by asus and it's a 2022 laptop but i'm sure this works with pretty much all at least intel based chips i could say that much uh, i'm not too sure if this works on mac very well because i've had some issues with mac but i have seen and it even says in the back that it does work with mac but <laughs> mine's a little picky so i just don't use it on outside of my pc but I'm going to talk a little bit about the performance of this, what I've noticed with using this. So I just have my camera set up there. I'm using a Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens. So it makes this image look really nice. Using just a regular old kit lens won't probably give you the image quality that you want. But uh, if you're looking to invest, get one of these, an HDMI cable, a camera, and a nice lens. You got yourself a serious setup there. So you can record all your videos just through your computer itself, just by turning on the camera, having this all plugged in. Or you can also use a, just use, <laughs> you can use just the camera itself. But I think that this works very well, especially if you're doing any type of like video game content creation, or if you just want a higher quality image, like I was using a Logitech C920 for a while. It's good, don't get me wrong, but this is night and day much better. And I've even noticed from the regular 720p webcam mode that my camera has compared to this this is much much better than that so i'm only recording 1440p right now but it can go all the way up to 4k i find that this is just more than enough for my purposes keeps the file sizes small and nice but yeah the cam link really does make a difference if you're looking to create really high quality content on your computer most of this is just through the camera itself like this camera does a fantastic job but as long as you're getting a nice camera i can say that the sony zv e10 works flawlessly with the cam link so if you're wondering about that it's a pretty great investment just make sure you do get a lens though in order to take full advantage of it as kit lenses are pretty much on par with like an iphone i would say that the camera itself is better than an iphone but just in terms of picture quality you're going to be like mm, that looks like my iphone so yeah the cam link 4k from elgato on a scale of one to ten I would give this bad boy right here, I would give it a solid 8.5. The only thing that I've ever had wrong with it is the camera overheats while using this. For some reason, it doesn't happen much. Like, the only time I've ever seen my camera overheat was from this, and even in the wintertime, which is very odd here in Canada. But overall, it's pretty great. I don't know if this was really causing it to overheat or if it was just the camera being used for an extended period of time. But that's just something to note if you're doing a long stream. Uh, you might want some cooling or something for your camera. But yeah, Camelot 4K, great investment, I think. It made my content look fantastic through a PC, so I'm happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button below.